Anyway, we might as well move very swiftly on because um, we've still got three songs to talk about. So the next song that we're going to be talking about is uh, Latvia. Now, Latvia will be performing in 15th place in the semi-final, and they will be represented by Samantha Tina, the, the legend, the queen of Latvian Eurovision music, along, well, the king is Marcus Riva, but yeah. Um, Samantha Tina will be singing her song, The Moon Is Rising, and wow, it's all I can say. Uh, have a little listen to it. See what you make for it yourself. I am absolutely in love with this. Um, this is probably my favourite ever Latvian entry, and I know that is maybe a little bit of an unpopular opinion because I've seen this not get so, as much love as Still Breathing did last year, but there's just so much I love about this. Like, it's so different for like a f- like to see like a female like to see like female rap in Eurovision and very much like rock. We've got two songs this year. We've got this and Russia. So I would love to see them both in the final. Um, Again, it's very different from what we usually see at Eurovision. This just has so many elements about it that I love. Like it has that it has that techno EDM beat that Still Breathing had, but I think it goes a little bit harder. There's the rap. There's just so much that's empowering about this, and um, I love it. Um, a lot of people have this down as a non qualifier, but I just really need this in the final. This would be such a great final opener. Like, please, please, Europe, please. I'm almost kind of surprised as to where they've put this in the semi because I really expected this to be the final. Like, uh, like. The, the last song of the semi um, I think it's just so powerful and we know Samantha Tina can perform live we know she's got a fantastic voice and I'm so into this song um, I believe it's my seventh or eighth place at the moment I feel like with still breathing it took me a little bit of time to adjust to her style because it is deeply chaotic now that i'm used to it when i first heard the moon is rising i was already on board with it and the more i listen to it the more i love it the more i am enjoying it i think it is great i love the lyrics i love how powerful it is i think the only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is how they might stage it, because we have seen her do a live performance, but she's been surrounded by quite a lot more than six people while doing that. And I feel like the energy of that music video and this whole crowd of diverse, incredible women around her, I feel like really does exemplify what this song is about. And so I'm worried about how they'll translate that to a six person on stage rule. I really, really hope they can do it because if they can and they can get that message across, this song will hopefully do very well. I can also very much see it possibly just really grating on people. Um, I know certainly even amongst the fandom, it really does grate on some people. So I could also see this possibly not qualifying, but I think that would be very wrong and deeply unjust. See, the thing is, I've heard many different things, and I have heard some people say that this is going to come last in the semi. I've seen some people say that it's going to win the semi. I've seen some people just say that it's going to be borderline. Like, it's one of those songs that you literally cannot place. And I think that's kind of the problem because I think it's so unpredictable we just have no idea what's going to happen um there's no denying that this is easily one of the most sort of standout songs sonically I think you know Samantha Tina has has really kind of gone on like a massive sort of audible journey I think throughout her time taking part in the like both the Latvian and the Lithuanian national selections 
And I think she's just doing what she's doing. And we're just a part of her world. This is just how it feels, right? I just love this. I think it's really just so different. I think it's so interesting. I think it's innovative. It's something that we've not heard from Latvia ever before. And honestly, I'm here for it. And, you know, the female empowerment, again, is an amazing theme to be going down. We've we've got a couple of songs this year, kind of like Russian Woman as well, be kind of similar to that. I just, I, I think this could do really well. Um, I think it's definitely a qualifier for me. It's one of those ones. It's, it's not even a question. I do think, though, it could maybe flop in the final. But imagine if this opened up the final. I think that would be mental. I think people would go crazy. Um, and what a way to kick off the show as well. I think it'd be so cool. But um, no, Samantha Tina, f- an exceptional vocalist. We know that. We've seen it before in Supernova. We've seen it in Ero Deisma, uh, in Ero Viziosa Tranca as well. She knows what she's doing and she knows what it's like. And She's just an amazing woman, and honestly, I just love her for that. The fact that she's so inclusive and diverse. I and, oh, I, I want this to qualify. This is the one that I'm really rooting for in this semi-final. I know I said Portugal, but like Latvia is far harder to reach into the final than many other countries. So I don't know. I just I just really want Latvia to qualify because since Supernova, I've loved every single one of their songs. So, like, come on, all of the good work needs to pay off. 